got Kendrick Nunn here. Kendrick, but before we get into what all of this meant for your team and what's at stake in less than 48 hours from now, yeah. let's talk about your journey and going from not playing in playoff games after finishing as a finalist for Rookie of the Year to now having to step up and play a pivotal role in a win or go home game. Yeah. What did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, I just knew I had to stay ready. Even though I wasn't playing, the uh, rotations got short. And um, I knew there would be a time where the, my team needs me the most. So I just had to stay ready in between those days, not playing, um, and, and stay sharp. And that's what I did. How, how tough was that for you to take those DNPs as you worked your way back? It was definitely tough. Um, just knowing how I contributed to this team all season long uh, was a big factor. And also starting uh, throughout the whole, entire year. And uh, it was tough. It was tough, definitely. But um, I had to deep, deep dig mm -hmm. uh, and miss, stay mentally strong and um, just stay with it. When you talk about deep dig, that's what I love. You say even kill. Uh, mm -hmm. You're still going to play Kendrick Nunn basketball, what I love. Um, take me through, even though a couple of those games, foul trouble got you out of rhythm. And I know one, a lot of times you're saying, you're yeah. looking, and then <laughs> you know to just stay with it. And tonight, yeah. there was no hesitation. There's never been any hesitation for you, but... Your mindset of digging deep, and who is helping you on that Miami Heat sideline as a teammate to keep you going? Uh, I will say pretty much everyone. Everyone's chipping in evenly uh, mm -hmm. to the coaching staff all the way to the end of the bench. Uh, they know the type of player that I am, and they just uh, keep instilling confidence in me uh, because I showed it all year. So it's pretty much the help of everyone, and I thank them for that. Kendrick, those, those veterans and you young guys have had such a great balance. It's been well documented all year long. Mm -hmm. When you see a, a guy who's been a leader for you, Jimmy Butler, go out and play more than 47 minutes tonight and put it all out on the line, what do you think about when you're watching this happen in person? Uh, I know that's, it's tough. That's tough to do. Uh, but I know the type of player that Jimmy is, so I'm not surprised by it at all. Um, 48 min 46 minutes uh, is a lot, but um, he's built for it. Uh, that's the type of player he is, and we have confidence in him that he, that we can lean on him and get the job done. For you being such a young guy, are, are you sitting there at any point saying, oh, my goodness, it's LeBron and, Le and Jimmy Butler going back and forth in one of the best games we've seen all year? <laughs> no, I'm not, actually. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's probably why I have so much confidence right. because, um, I mean, I believe I, I belong. Kendrick, you know, when you say dig deep, you came out and played spectacular. You know, Duncan Robinson hit threes and then Jimmy Butler. But talk about Bam. Hadn't got a chance to play because of the injuries. Mm -hmm. You know, stats-wise, we didn't jump out on the page. But just talk about how his contribute, him being back has helped your team and helped you as well. Uh, man, Bam is the, the heart and soul of, of our team. We, um, we trust and lean on him as well. Uh, defensively, he's everywhere on the floor for us, making plays, blocking shots. I mean... We, we believe in Bam, and um, he stepped up big for us tonight as well. Andrew, congratulations on a huge performance. You guys only played seven guys. You're going to need some rest, as I said. <laughs> Sunday, out. early start, 7.30 Eastern, and another must-win game for the Miami Heat. Best of luck to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Right, let's go back to Atlanta.